गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स एंड गुड इवनिंग ऑनलाइन व्यूअर्स आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज एपिडोरल एनेस्थीसिया एपिडोरल एनेस्थीसिया माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम वर्किंग इन ओटी ऑल्सो ऑपरेशन थिएटर दैट्स वाई आई एम समाइम लाइक टू असिस्ट एंड समाइम I am taking a part and watching how an anesthesiologist is working. So I have a uh, little uh, experience about this topic. So I am going to explain you dose of epidural anesthesia. Do you know how much dose we need to give in case of epidural? My question goes to Dr. Madan. Hi. High doses. Yes, in epidural we need to give a very high doses. High doses like 30, 40 ml of anesthesia, local anesthesia. We need to give inject in a patient, but in case of spinal anesthesia, my dear friends, only little dose like two, three ml, like sansokin, bupiva kin, yeah, sometimes low dose. But here in epidural, it's high dose, much doses. Onset of analgesia. Onset of analgesia here is slow, slow onset, slow onset. Sometimes when we are in a operation theater, when anesthesiologist give a anesthesia epidural then still patient moving his legs little but after few minutes when time goes it's when we give this anesthesia in his spinal he loses his sensation that time my dear friends okay it can be given epidural anesthesia we can given in cervical vertebra लंबर सर्वाइकल थॉरेसिक लंबर सैक्रोकाकिजियल ऑल्सो वी कैन गिव एनी साइड ऑफ वर्टिब्रा बट इन केस ऑफ स्पाइनल वी कैन गिव ऑनली ऑन लंबर वर्टिब्रा वाई लंबर वर्टिब्रा टूडे आई आज दिस क्वेश्चन विथ एनेस्थिशियोलॉजिस्ट एंड ही आंसर मी यू नो वॉट बिकॉज द स्पाइनल कोर्ट्स एंड सर्लियर एंड इट्स If we give a spinal anesthesia upper side, it will damage the spinal cord. Sometimes he explained me. I don't know about uh, right or uh, no, but uh, according to the books, uh, epidural anesthesia we can give on any side. Okay, what kind of needle we use in epidural anesthesia? My question goes to MLA doctor. So he, yeah, he is right. T U H Y, T U O H Y. To he. needle we are going to use in epidural anesthesia what a good answer i really appreciating his performance he is already ready in my classes okay then site site my dear friends site is epidural 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 we are going to give inject this epidural anesthesia in epidural space but spinal in pia matter and subarachnoid in pia matter and subarachnoid we are going to inject the spinal why i am using the spinal also because see my dear friends epidural anesthesia sometimes we give most of the time we are giving spinal anesthesia but sometimes we give epidural anesthesia okay so to identify the epidural space they use i saw so many times when they inject the spinal or epidural they like to use some syringe and push inside uh, and they are sometimes saline uh, to check like this way inside the uh, epidural anesthesia firstly they check uh, by saline using with the help of syringe or air 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 also they like to use okay and after that they give anesthesia why they are doing so to prevent to prevent prevent the effect to prevent here okay thoracic epidural anesthesia use thoracic epidural anesthesia we are going to use is here for what uh if upper abdomen if any kind of upper abdomen surgery upper abdomen surgery we need to give epidural anesthesia in thoracic side but in this anesthesia there is a no effect on perineal like uh, urogenital organs like on pelvis 
this anesthesia not effect if we give in a thoracic what do is the best quality that is also today's uh, doctor anesthesiologist he explained me if we give in a regional site like on a thoracic it blocks it blocks only the regional area but in his spinal not confirm in his spinal so much area included so it is specific for a specific area epidural so we are going to know the side effects side effects of the anesthesia which i already told headache by headache due to cerebral uh, outflow headache vertigo dizziness dizziness here dizziness sometimes uh, are the side effects and uh, what are more side effects we include uh, uh, like uh, uh, this uh, headache dizziness and what else my question goes to dr lal kishan caesar yes brilliant absolutely caesar caesar my dear friends caesar is also a side effect of uh, epidural anesthesia or spinal why caesar because because when this anesthesia maybe uh, sometimes ruptures the blood vessels also and if it come in contact with blood that time caesar occurs i will give you one example when i am assisting in a uh, gynecology department there is a cesarean delivery and uh, that time what happens i uh, anesthesiologist inject uh, bupivacaine sensocaine that injection and the lady develop a seizure everybody think why we not measure her blood pressure why we not uh, see the history of eclampsia or preeclampsia or pregnancy induced hypertension why but that time no one knows but uh, one uh, gynecologist another lady also told you know earlier so many deliveries we have such complication but nobody understand uh, and that anesthesiologist also uh, told uh, maybe he, he is younger younger looking anesthesiologist and he don't have enough uh, experience that time he also can't able to understand so they all decide to check the sense okay maybe some uh, problem there but uh, when i asked with a senior uh, anesthesiologist he explained me maybe he rupture sometimes some blood vessel that anesthesia came in contact that's why she, that lady suffer from a seizure and we saw that time proteinuria in her urine protein level is 1 and that is normal for uh, pregnancy but in case of eclampsia there must be the proteinuria high okay my dear friends but that time nobody knows even i am present i also don't know but after a second day when i am entered in another ot i understood okay uh, and respiratory depression also it causes respiratory depression uh, i hope you all understand bopi vakin so many times uh, repeatedly asking questions like this is a cardiotoxic cardiotoxic i asked him why uh bobivacaine is cardiotoxic because it depresses the myocardium it depresses the myocardium directly that's why it is cardiotoxic my dear friends bobivacaine and sometimes it causes cardiac toxic and cardiac arrest and sometimes sudden death also so sad situation so sad so sad in such situation and the complication like subdural hematoma subdural hematoma why hematoma wrongly inject the injection coagulopathy it is contraindicated coagulopathy central venous thrombosis abscess 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 but in case of failure when we know the epidural anesthesia is failure failure in case of obesity when a patient is obese multiple pregnancy multiple pregnancy multiple pregnancy and history of epidural analgesia failure failure past history of epidural anesthesia failure and i am going to explain one thing more also i ask today also why why uh there is a, a hypotension when we give epidural anesthesia there is a fall in a bp and there is also fall in 
heart rate bradycardia but in spinal this situation is more in epidural it is less why he told me because we are giving epidural on particular for a particular size but spinal acts so many area okay and one another reason also because it paralyzes the muscles like intercostal muscle and diaphragmatic muscles and which inhibit the sympathetic activity also due to this anesthesia of heart sympathetic activity reduces by the heart because some blockage occur there that's why hypotension and bradycardia and uh, what kind of drugs we are going to use i saw so many times we are uh, using mostly the ropivacaine ropivacaine we can use bupivacaine uh, bu uh, also in epidural i already written so i am going to explain you some of the drugs which we are going to use in epidural like lidocaine we can use mepivacaine we can use ropivacaine i already explained clotrocaine we can use sometimes opioids hydromorphine morphine fentanyl so fentanyl pethidine and i want to explain you epidural anesthesia is a very good analgesia very good a pain killer it is good pain killer than nitrous oxide also my dear friends when i am going to explain you this thing nitrous oxide uh, in when i am going to explain the general anesthesia inhalants and uh, i hope tomorrow's topic i am going to explain about spinal anesthesia and after that we are going to discuss about some local anesthesia so my dear friends have a good day good night and if you like my channel please subscribe my channel and if you have any comments and any views please put comments and if you like my video please put like on it have a good day good night goodbye okay thanks for watching my videos goodbye